times we can doubt that God has a plan for our lives. And oftentimes these doubts can creep in when we're suffering something or going through a trial, or it appears that our prayers aren't being answered, our well-intentioned prayers aren't being answered for ourselves or even for someone else. And it's at times like this, when these doubts arise in our hearts, that we need to look back and look at the truth and see how trust builds on a re- in a relationship by looking back. So I'd like to share about two events, one from the Old Testament and one from my own life, that demonstrate that God has a good plan for our lives in the midst of troubles and sufferings. Joseph, in the Old Testament, was the beloved son of Jacob. And although he was the beloved son, his other brothers resented him for this, and they sold him into slavery. He was sold from one group to another group taken to Egypt. And he was a righteous man. He refused to have an affair with his master's wife. Because of that, false accusations were brought upon him, and he was thrown in jail. Then in jail, he was forgotten about for multiple years. So through this enslavement and now imprisonment and being forgotten, one can think, where's God in all this? But God had him in the right place at the right time. He interpreted a dream for Pharaoh, which saved not only Egypt from starvation when a famine came, but it saved his own family as well. So Jacob was part of this larger plan of God, even though it seemed that he was himself just simply struggling along. My own, in my own life, I was visiting my family a few years ago and I borrowed my mom's truck to drive across town to visit a, fr- a priest friend of mine from high school. We had a nice visit and then I was on my way back and all I wanted to do was just spend the afternoon with my family. Well, I tried to start the car to drive back and it wouldn't start, I was very frustrated. So I prayed again and I tried again. I tried to jump the car, not once but twice. Finally, I surrendered and in frustration called a tow truck. The tow truck came, went, drove it across town to the mechanic. The mechanic popped the hood, started the car with no problem. To my surprise, a fire began under the engine as well. And they quickly put out the fire and everything was okay. So as much as I was trying to get that truck started to get back to spend time with my family, the Lord was sparing me from a fire under the hood, which could have very easily hurt me or even taken my life. Jeremiah reminds us, that the Lord knows well the plans he has in mind for us, plans for your welfare and not for woe. And so we ask for this great trust that God has a plan, a good plan for us. And so we pray that your plan is better than anything else. Jesus, I trust you.